Welcome one and all to another developer, developer update, the March one, right? And you guys might notice something different today. My background is not the same background that I had the last time. And we have a guest and Juan will, will, will tell you the story of Juan and what happened to him later. Uh, it's a little bit of a sad story, but for now, let's say hello to Nicolas. Hi, Nicolo. Hey, everybody. How are you? So Nico is our, I'm kidding, Juan is fine. Uh, Nico is our, um, is, is our lead. He's the, spe the, the spearhead, he's spearheading the development efforts uh, for World War II. Uh, and he's here today. And I think he's going to be here as a permanent fixture of our developer update. He's part of the, uh, of the triangle of, uh, of development, right? Uh, so next update, we'll also have Juan back. Uh, but Nico will now be with us from here until eternity, I think. Um, talking about the game we love. So, um, Nico, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Um, Juan usually takes the lead on directing the conversation, but now that he's not here, I will have to fill in his big shoes. Um, and so to begin, uh, to begin with that, let's talk a little bit about the update that we will be releasing. So there's going to be a new update coming soon, right? Can you talk a little bit about that, Nico? Yeah, um, we're actually thinking of releasing uh, soon. Uh, that includes uh, many balance fixes, some that have uh, the community has been asking for a lot. And uh, also a bunch of bug fixes. That's like the main focus of, of the team, like mainly um, like we already added a bunch of stuff into the game and we're pretty proud of that. So right now we're trying just uh, trying to stabilize to improve the experience for all the players um, because um, that's what we've noticed mainly in our uh, community feedback that uh, some things aren't clear. So we're trying to make those things especially clear. Uh, some are things that we're improving is our chat system. Some of our messages aren't really uh, reaching uh, all the players. So uh, we're hoping to improve that system. And um, yeah, that's mainly what we've been working on currently. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you, you, yeah, I, I think I think that, that there's there's still some systems in the game that, that we want to like like nail down. We, we are currently not focusing on developing new content. That does not mean, and this is actually a conversation with having the team, that does not mean that we will not be releasing new content in the foreseeable future. We will. Uh, but we're just making sure that, first of all, the, um, the, the, the issues that we feel are affecting the community are, are addressed and that we are not overwhelming the community with too much content that the game can like the gameplay and the meta of the game can, can stabilize is that the, the balance changes that are coming are not not just a couple of changes there's it, there, it, it's a substantial list and I, I know nico that some of the stuff that we want to do has to do and i mentioned that in the previous video but it had to do with like quality of balance changes right uh, quality of life changes i mean uh, the, the game is literally controlled your chaos. We have a bunch of chaos inside there, but uh, we're trying just to make sure that the chaos doesn't hurt you exactly. or doesn't or, confuse or, you. <laughs> or, or, that it, or that it's not in your inbox. For example, I know that one thing that we've always wanted to do, uh, and I personally would love to see that, uh, is a claim everything in your inbox button, you know, that allows you to like claim everything that's currently in the, in the inbox and not have to go message by message. So that's the sort of stuff that we are probably going to be looking at in the future for the quality of life improvements. But <laughs> we are, but we have already also designed. So there's two, actually, w there's two big features that are, that are, are will, will be released in the, in the, in the foreseeable future uh, that are currently in a roadmap. One that I think we can go in depth, which is Dr. Death's trial of style. With this one, we had been keeping under wraps. It's a feature that it's a new event uh geared towards giving our players more rewards it actually counts as a daily event so it, it comes with bananas so now it's even easier to go through the tower of loot uh, the new event is called uh the, well it's with uh, dr dev at the mainstay and um it's basically about like giving you challenges with specific cards and specific skins so you can use them in battle and win the extra rewards, which include banana and other rewards, including cards, um, uh, gems, all of those nice little goodies that you like. Exactly. And, and uh, uh, I don't remember right now, we might be giving some threats in that event, right? I, I have think to look, just 
I have to look into into certain spreadsheets, but there might be some threads there, which I know that a lot of our players have been thirsting for threads. Uh, so it definitely is a nice way to. It, it's it's a it's an event that um, forces, in a nice way, the player to change up their usual playstyle by giving them a challenge of win certain battles with this skin and these units in your and these troops in your or or buildings or yeah units in your in your deck uh, and it's a daily one so it changes every day right it refreshes every single day uh so it, so it's it's um you know another daily event that you guys can complete with with very generous rewards and um another way to keep climbing the tower of loot so so i think it's a win win it's more more for for uh, all of our players, not just the the paying players, but also the free to play players. We're, we're we're trying to to give everyone a fair chance to upgrade your your cards and 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 reach the the higher echelons of competition. Don't think of it. Oh, I don't have that skin. I don't have that unit. Uh, yeah, you won't have it at that moment. We'll try to specify to at least try to give you cards that uh, you may have. That you own. That, yeah. That you own that exactly. You, yeah. And um, we're going to try to give that as fair as possible, but we're also trying to make you uh, switch it up. So sometimes the car will be one that you don't have, maybe one that you can get in the shop. And uh, it may be a low level car, but that will be part of the challenge. Like um, the events are made exactly for that, like to change your play style. Truth be told, I'm, I'm a very zombie player. I, I, love, I love the zombie skin. I love going with big <laughs> units and just trying to uh, get that uh, one percent chance <laughs> or, or three percent you, you chance. You have a gambling problem. Yeah, I have a, a right? large gambling problem. I, uh, yes. I, I literally and, just... And now that's a perfect se segue into letting everyone know what happened to Juan. He owed some money to the wrong people and uh, we had to, to loan him for a week. He's doing some, some, some work, uh, but he will be back. And then uh, I'm not going to go very deep into this because we've talked about that in the past. But there's, you know, the, the club feature, the club, the, the club feature. That's something that we, we are, we um, we have already developed a lot of the of the code for that feature. Uh, but we are we are currently giving our bugs and and our stability uh, more priority to that. But that's something that we also plan to revisit and and continue developing in the future. But more on that, probably because that's not in the very near future. So that's probably going to be in other developer updates. So your favorite skin is the zombie skin. What's your favorite card? Oh man, uh, I'm uh, to, to tell the truth, it's, it's not part of my strategy, but I just love the infestation mine. I just think it's, it's like every time a, a, a group of piranhas just pass on top of it and just a bunch of squares spawn, it, it, it gives me glee. It just, just so, <laughs> it makes me giddy with joy. Like many people think that the violent changes are just to make, um, well, things balance, but they're not really. They're they're actually made to make the game fun, to keep the game fresh. That's what a uh, hero is actually striving for. Like many uh, many said, like, oh, you nerfed my strategy, and we're like, yes, you've been using the same strategy for months. Can you please change? Can you just try? There are a lot of cards in the game. There's a lot of units. And um, part of the idea is actually to switch it up, to to try yeah. it out. Like that's that's yeah. like we're, we're not trying to make your deck better. We're also not trying to make it exactly worse. We're trying to make the game more diverse, more more fun. So um, just give it a chance. Just uh, look at the balance changes. I love the creators that are constantly like see, it's, it, they they see the balance they're patches awesome. and they're like. Yeah, they're awesome. they're awesome. They're just like, oh man, that means that this can change and this can be used now. Yeah, I, I have to say, Nico, those videos, like the balance changes videos and, and seeing the creators like try to come up with and analyze how things might change up. Those are my favorite ones, to be honest. Those and we, we, we would be totally remiss if we didn't mention the awesome uh, World War Doe rap. Because that's, yeah, that's, no. that's, 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 that's the billboard hit of the year. That's the song of 2021. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we bid you adieu. This has been the developer update. My guest, Nico, the man, the, 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 the brain behind our new fixture in the developer update. Thank you, Nico, for coming. And we'll see you guys on the next developer video. Uh, hashtag free one. Goodbye. Take care, free one.